Now we are going to cover the workflow configuration transaction code. The first one that is the enable trace. You can enable the trace through this. And then the execute action workflow automatic updates that's used for. Then you have the push notification. Push notification is something that is very useful in this modern world where this where cell, cell phone and mobile phone, smartphone is the is absolutely necessary where we can send push notification and then the next transaction is the push notification customization where we want to customize the type of message that we are sending then we have the swf stack trace where the workflow stack trace we can check what are the workflow stack trace then there is the workflow task filter uh, configuration and then the trace display the next two are transactions that uh, has been delivered but will be heavily used in in the 19th and 20th version it's yet to be used but they have delivered something like that mm, so now let's cover this in details so here is the workflow create work item text where you can create the type of work items text then there is the workflow updates automatic updates here you can execute the type of update you want now if you if you notice some of these names are already in german so it's pretty brand new and you can uh, you can think of what can be done through this so uh, it does the automatic updates it's similar to the workflow customizing then you have the activate standard trace where you can check and activate the trace so that uh, uh, so that you can see what the workflow is doing if there is any performance issue or there is you want to debug workflow so you can use through the trace then there is the activation of push notification for task and steps you can customize it here and then there is this play the customizing of push notifications so these are the different types of uh, push notification that has been configured and you can customize you can describe what are the types of text are there and you can activate so the green ones are all activated the 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 ones that are in gray diamond are not activated you can make it as a group but again when you want to make it as a group it needs to be really logical to make it as a group so this is another one and then you have the stack trace as i said you can see what is the stack what is going on with the workflow at what point of time what is working if there is any issues if there is any performance issues you can check through the stack trace and then you have this tcm configuration filter where you can this is the workflow task filter configuration where you can uh, activate where you can activate the task filter whether you want to trigger it or you want to not trigger it so it adds another filter criteria and then this is the trace display where you can uh, see what are the traces what are the, the traces that has been triggered and what is the result and where it's getting stuck who has activated and all of those so these are the transactions that are available for the configuration side uh, we will discuss this in details into the system.